All right, this is the first video that I've done on the Three Sisters garden in over a month. I've let the corn completely lay by, and as you can see, it's completely dried out now. I'm going to harvest what's left today. The pole beans, while still green, are essentially done. I've got several pods that have now gone to seed that I'm going to harvest. And unfortunately, the squash vine borers took out every single thing from the squash family that I had growing, including the sugar pumpkins. The only thing that I still have growing are uh, birdhouse gourds, uh, which are actually doing extremely well. Uh, but other than that, the rest are gone. So what I'm going to do today is harvest this corn dried and also harvest some of these beans that are left from seed. And then I'm gonna take down the Florida weave that I did and cut these off at the ground level so that I will be clearing these beds and I'm going to prep them because this is the same bed that I'm going to be using for some of my brassicas that I will be planting for the fall, which I will be doing about a month from now. So this is the dent corn, Hickory King dent corn. Nice and dried out, it's looking good. I'm gonna shuck it and let it dry out some more before I try to process it. Uh, but this has turned out to be some really nice corn. And also what I'm going to be doing is shucking this as I go and I'm just going to throw the shucks on the ground to let them become a part of the mulch layer and then I'll be putting the cobs into my garden cart. Okay, I was able to harvest quite a bit of this dried dent corn. Not bad for what's left of uh, six rows that I planted in this Three Sisters garden. Now I'm easing along here and uh, picking these Louisiana purple pole beans uh, to use for seed next year. I've already picked quite a few, definitely enough for me and probably enough to share in case anybody else wants some uh, who live, live around me locally. Uh, so I'm gonna keep picking these now and hopefully by the end of the day, I'll already have the Florida weave taken down and all of these stalks and vines on the ground for mulch. I've already left quite a bit of mulch from the shucks from the corn that I picked. And I'm just gonna let it decompose right where it is. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is go along here and just cut this corn right at the base leaving the roots in place. And all that I'm going to do for now is just drop it down onto the ground and leave it to decompose. Now later, uh, I always have the option. I have a wood chip chipper and leaf shredder that I can always run this through if I want to make it finer. Uh, but for right now, the priority is just simply getting it down and let it start breaking down. This will add more organic material uh, to the top of the soil for breaking down and will also continue to retain moisture and suppress weed growth. All right, first bed is done. Everything's on the ground. Like I say, I'm gonna leave it there to let it break down. If you recall from, I believe it was the second or third uh, Three Sisters video that I did, I mentioned that I had tested this soil and amended it with an organic fertilizer, which is a sustained release fertilizer, which means that even though I put that in in the spring, it's still gonna be releasing nitrogen and phosphorus and potassium even now. So I will not be adding any more supplemental fertilizer to this before I plant the brassicas. And the brassicas, as you may have seen from some of my other videos, have already been started. They're growing indoors inside my grow light cabinets. And so when I get ready to plant here, all I'll have to do is push enough of this out of the way to get some starts in the ground. And then as I go along, I can amend with foliar fertilizer, fish emulsion and other things like that, that I can do as they grow. And it will be late winter, early spring before I ever test this soil again. Uh, I could add some compost to it. Um, in fact, I may, I haven't decided yet, but I may pull some of this out of the way, add some compost and then put this back and then plant. But honestly, because I've had this covered so well, all year. If you look just superficially under these leaves, you know, this is a highly, very good organic material just right here. So 
as long as you keep it covered, it pretty much makes its own compost as it goes. So kind of doubt I'm gonna go through that expense and trouble. This is probably all I'm gonna do to it other than let it sit here. All right, so for what began in April, uh, it's now late August, almost September, and the Three Sisters beds are now finished. They have been completely mulched on top of the soil to be broken down. I'm not quite done with the series because I still intend to do another video or two on processing, especially of the corns. So that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching.